Hey, you're on. Hey, everybody. This is Jill with Jill for a day. And we're going to do some dehydrating today. I have done dehydrating in the past. A couple of items I just don't feel really good about. They, uh, they didn't turn out, uh, I think, pretty enough. One was uh, string beans and um, the other was mixed vegetables. And so the string beans I had done from raw string beans and I have done dehydrated corn that I purchased from the grocery store in the freezer case uh, and peas as well and they turn out just super good. So I'm doing a little of experimenting today on a couple of products I haven't tried and some that um, I'm, I'm going to redo the, the string beans to see if the store bought ones give me a better finished uh, product. The one thing good about buying frozen um, is that well, all of these uh, have been uh, produced in the United States and basically they are just the product. This is green beans and it says here ingredients green beans. So um, anyway I have an Excalibur and I have it heating up right now to 125 degrees and what you know another thing that's it's really nice about having the vegetables frozen is that all the processing, the pre-processing, the blanching, um, that and the cutting up things that are really time um, intense and uh, director the bags were approximately 78 cents a pound correct and you can't buy fresh string beans for 78 cents a pound so I'm just going to stack these up here didn't you also read somewhere that when you buy uh, flash frozen uh, vegetables they're actually fresher than uh, fresh lots of times actually fresher than fresh because they take these directly from the field and they're processed within the day that they're picked. Now here's one that I'm really anxious to find out about is broccoli and again for 78 cents I felt it was a, a good uh, cheap way of finding out if it works. I have some uh, dehydrated or freeze dried I'm not sure which it is uh, broccoli that I purchased from Honeyville and it's very expensive and um, so I thought, you know, maybe I can do this with, with the frozen broccoli. And, you know, lots of times you don't have to be, you know, terribly careful about having it um, stacked. You, you know, it doesn't have to be totally flat against the rack. So I'm going to leave that like that because it, they are bigger chunks and I want them to have the opportunity to fully um, dehydrate without any you know, complications. Okay, here's another bag. I mean, again, this is a pound of broccoli, fresh, basically fresh broccoli, you know, when you think about the fact it's just processed so quickly after... Um, it's actually bro broccoli florets, so you're yeah, not getting all the stem. Not all the stem. You're getting just the, just the flower. Just the best of it, yeah. yeah. And, and again, um, it's been blanched and you know, I mean, not that that's a terrible thing, but it does take a while to get the vegetables all prepped. Um, the one that, here's another one, and besides the broccoli that I'm anxious to see how it turns out, is spinach. Um, and this is leaf spinach, it's not the chopped. And um, this stuff is wonderful for sticking in uh, cut soups, and I suspect you could probably even make an awesome cream of spinach soup out of this. Now I just see I have a few chunks here, and I think once it gets rolling uh, and starts to defrost a little bit, that's the other thing. Don't defrost it, just throw it on the rack. Okay, and I'm, but anyway, I'm real anxious to see how this turns out because there's a lot of potential here with spinach. Plus, it's just packed with all kinds of great vitamins and minerals that you know you may need on a, a rainy day when the, you know what hits the fan. What hits the fan? <laughs> the doo doo hits the fan. And we were out uh, shopping, grocery shopping the other day to, to purchase some items along with these vegetables. These are beautiful, aren't they? Um, and it's it, mixed vegetables or succotash. Succotash. There's limas in here and string beans and peas and corn. And, um, but the director um, was telling me we were comparing uh, receipts from the grocery store and how, you know, every time we go in, the price is more. The price is more. It's just, uh, it's almost like you can't keep up with the cost of the 
uh, groceries. And I think that it's going to come to a point where, unless you're prepared, you're not going to be eating very well. So I highly recommend trying some um, to hydrate. So I'm going to fill this rack here, and I won't bore you with more, but I'm going to give these a shot. And they'll probably take about 12 hours to dehydrate. The other thing about dehydrate is I looked up, and this is the next caliber, and I looked up how much it costs to run a dehydrator. Because you got to take that into consideration. Oh, well, of course, electric bills go up. This was on 2013 uh, statistics, nine cents an hour to dehydrate. Oh my gosh. That's nothing when you think about all this is going in at the same time. Okay, I'm going to run this over to the dehydrator and I've got it warming up right now, so uh, it'll be just. Do you want to walk it over to the hydrator? Okay, it's going to walk on over here. Hang on, we're coming. We are coming. coming. We got mixed vegetables down. Just a couple. This thing in action. This is the uh, inside of the Excalibur. You can hear the engine running. What's so nice about them is that, and I'm sure you, if you know anything about your hydrators, the air is coming from the back. So all the racks get equal instead of the heat coming up from some stack up this way, the heat elements down here. You have to rotate your racks. Um, but the Excalibur, it, the airflow is um, is different, so you get a much more even flow of heat. You don't have to um, rotate your vegetables. And you're able to put in all different kinds of vegetables in the same... Yeah, you can. The only thing you really don't want to mix is they always say, you know, don't go putting in garlic and onions with anything that you don't want to have taste like garlic and onions, because it will. This may uh, be, you better go down to the bottom. Yeah, I think actually what I'm going to do is move this one down like that. So I have a little more head space for the broccoli here. That's going to be okay. You go and you should be able to do that right above the other green beans. Yeah. And then there you go. That is it. And I have additional uh, rungs here, which I will fill out um, while you're not watching. Anyway, so we'll come back in about 12 hours. Just let it sit here. It's uh, quiet, does its own thing. And, and what uh, temperature do you have it set? Thank you, Director. It is set at 125 degrees. That's what you use for vegetables, fruits. Um, of course, take a different temperature. Something I found out now, I've had this Excalibur for three years. And I never looked on the top here where it indicates what temperatures are for different products. I can raise, rise, rise my dough in here. I make bread, and, and if you don't have a place that's really warm, temperature-wise, to help raise that bread, rise, raise, you can do it in the Excalibur. Fabulous. Okay, that's it for now, and we'll be back in about 12 hours. Peace. And we're rolling again. Hey everybody, I'm back and I processed my uh, frozen vegetables. They turned out really well. What's incredible is that we did some mathematics. The director is really good with math and we believe we've got some incredible numbers for you. First of all, we want to pan the camera down here. I'll show you what we did. This was our mixed vegetables. Now I haven't put the whole quantity that's left. I just wanted to show you. These are beautiful. I'm beans, everything's bright. It's uh, very appetizing and you're going to put some boiling water on that or throw it into a, a stew or a soup. It's, it's just going to be phenomenal. So I'm very pleased with those. That's fine. Okay. Next comes broccoli, which again I'm very happy with. Um, it, it just, it just beautiful. And most of this was six or eight hours at the tops. Um, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. Anyway, again, very beautiful, very lovely. Okay, spinach. This is the one that I'm so happy about. It's a spinach leaf. This is spinach leaf again. Like I, I got it out of frozen, and um, just I mean it's so beautiful. I cannot wait to start using this. 
Um, anyway, that was a good experiment. I'm going to do a lot of this. And then finally, um, I've got green beans here. These were cut and fro all this was frozen, as, as you'll recall. Um, again, they, they turned out beautifully, nice, vivid color. And um, I, I couldn't be more pleased. Now, here's the part that is just, just a mind blower, um, is that we compared the pricing of dehydrated versus freeze-dried um, from a number of the different sources that are available online to buy the canned number 10 cans. Now I will be putting these in quart size jars with an oxygen absorber and then I'm going to double whammy it with a food saver sealer just so it's really tight. Okay, director, let's go. All right, mixed veggies. Now make, first make of all notes. to say that the freeze-dried veggies mm -hmm. Freeze drying removes about 98% of the moisture. Okay. And dehydrating only removes about 95% of the moisture. So freeze dried veggies, there's a little more, a little more quantity, but it's pretty close. But, and I will say that the dehydrating requirements are 95% or more okay. of dryness. So we're right in there. All right. Freeze-dried mixed veggies, if you buy like a number 10 can of yeah. them, yeah. cost about 89 and a half cents per ounce. That's in the can. That's in number the number 10, 10 can. can. You buy them from one of the major companies, okay? Dehydrated vegetables that we have there, this is the freeze-dried uh, mixed veggies. Mixed vegetables. Mm -hmm. The mixed veggies. 21 Point one cents per ounce. So from eighty nine cents an ounce. Less than one quarter of the price. Less than one quarter of okay. the price. Okay. Let's go to green beans. Green beans. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, the number ten can, three dollars and eight cents per ounce. Dehydrating, fifty point six cents per ounce. So more than six times what dehydrated vegetables are. That's what it's going to cost you if you buy freeze-dried from one of the major companies. How much? Six times? Six times. Okay. Let's go to broccoli. Broccoli, okay. Freeze-dried broccoli, a number 10 can, $2.63 per ounce. And our dehydrated uh, broccoli that you're looking at right now, 50.6 cents per ounce. So the freeze-dried is five times what it costs if you dehydrate it yourself. And finally, spinach. Okay. Which I'm just so thrilled about. Right. Okay. Spinach, again, the number 10 can of spinach, $2.49 an ounce for the freeze dried. And the dehydrated that you're looking at there, 52.7 cents per ounce. So almost five times the price of. Uh, the dehydrated is what it will cost you if you buy uh, freeze-dried spinach in a number 10 can. And you know, if you, uh, number 10 cans are great and they have a very long storage time. If you properly store your dehydrated vegetables in an airtight container, away from light, um, away from uh, any kind of moisture sources, these are going to last you years and years. In fact, I've talked to and, and read and all kinds of things about the storage capabilities of dehydrated food, and it's it's right up there. It's 20 years. I mean, and the price difference. Uh, when we started going over the prices of frozen, or excuse me, freeze-dried versus dehydrated, it, it just, wow. Um, so I can't tell you how exciting this is. I, I never did the numbers before. This is big stuff. Anyway, wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this series and enjoyed the information and um, we'll see you later and thanks a lot for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.